What is that noise? Hey guys, it's Ben with Company Grip. I remember in 1994, my parents bought me my first electric guitar. It was very heavy. It was probably around nine or 10 pounds. Wasn't a great guitarist, still not, some would argue. I would argue that. Actually. Hey guys, how's it going? Put it's on been a strap. With grip. You know, had a lot of pliability to it. What the? Hey guys, how's What's I saying? Hey this guys, how's it going? It's been probably with Company Grip. this in like 15 years. So here it is, wow. Uh, anyway, I'm playing guitar rocking out, jumping off of bunk beds, the roof, cars on the freeway, and the meat of this guitar goes slamming into the ground and I end up with this. That's not that bad. I mean, it could have been something worse. This guitar was, at that time, probably a few weeks old. I was devastated. Look at that. I wonder if I put that truss rod cover on there. I did what a lot of my poor friends like myself would do, which was get a giant washer that would fit between the strap button and the body. But I don't think I had a single problem after that with this. That's obviously the cheapest solution. That's a 10 cent washer, but it's not quick. That's the problem. That brings me to my point of strap locks. The whole point of the strap lock system is so you can get your strap off and on the guitar relatively quick while being super secure, right? We're gonna test out a few things, all of them I got on Amazon. They range in price from several bucks all the way up to $25, $30. So I purchased all these strap lock systems on amazon.com, which I have links below. If you click on those links and make a purchase, I will get a small commission, which will go towards helping fund this channel. So the first is these Tifonso strap locks. Not really too sure how they work. We're gonna figure it out together. I don't know if this means once you put that strap on the guitar, it's semi-permanent or um, a magilla to get it on and off. But six sets for five bucks, that's pretty good. The next up is the Dunlop Lock Strap 7000. I'm not sure why there's three of them either. That's, I don't know. Next, we've got the Diodario Auto Lock Strap. $17 for that. This seems pretty self-explanatory. Maybe it's got a, oh, I see, I see. You would do this, stick the button through this side, close this in on it. This camera will not focus on this stuff. So it'll sit inside that hollowed out area there and supposedly be locked in place. Next up, we've got the Dunlop strap lock, which was $20. That's a lot more expensive than the lock strap, which was less than a third of that price. Uh, we've got these Schaller S-Locks. 26 bucks there for these. I do know how these work, I've had them. You would actually screw this into your guitar. You would then attach these two pieces to your strap, which would permanently live on your strap, and that's got its own pros and cons as well. And then my last option is a locket strap, which I've been using a lot recently. It's probably my favorite option. What it is, it's a strap, but it has this little slidey mechanism built into it. So you can see, you open it up, stick your button in there, close it. So let's see how these things work. So the guitar that we're testing this on also was on amazon.com. This is not a Strat. It is a Jet Guitars JS 300. It was $225. It had a roasted maple neck. Honestly, it looks beautiful. The electronics did kind of suck, so I swapped all these out for a Fender 5762 pickup set. So it, it sounds good though. Mm -hmm. So we'll be testing all these out on here. So this guitar, I think, has a prime example of a terrible strap button. The fact that it actually arcs outward, so it, it almost seems to encourage your strap falling off of it, especially if you were to lift the neck back, and that's, that's the only thing that's expected to keep your strap on there. This is a normal strap, rocking out, whoop, you see that? That's bending forward to take a drink of chocolate milk, and the guitar falls off. So our first option is these Tiffon. So take the, the strap, stick it on the button. You would just feed these over the button as well. And I don't really like that. You can see it almost comes all the way up to the top of the button. I, I'm curious if that will actually, yeah, that's, that's 
So I, I don't, I don't really see the point of that. However, maybe if your strap button has a flatter underside, you can get this thing on here. Kind of. Okay. Both of those are on there. Let's see. Well, this is so that seems better. I mean, that's. Do not recommend doing this with your guitar. The strap button on the newer SGs is pretty incredible. All right, next up. What is that noise? Next up on this test, we've got the Dunlop lock strap. Strap lock, lock strap. One moment, please. Let's start that over. So the next thing we've got here is the Dunlop lock strap. So the Dunlop 7000 lock strap was $7. I don't know why there's three, maybe. I ain't got a clue. The instructions pretty much just say open and locked. We're gonna take our strap like so, stick it over it. I think I'm supposed to twist it. I'm really good at breaking things like this. So it essentially cinches around your strap button. Man, that's assuming I'm doing this right. I think I've got it on here. So this is a one size fits all solution. However, this might be the size that it doesn't fit. It seems to be holding. It's a little cumbersome, but it is working. It's okay. Seven dollars for three of those. It's not exciting. All right, next up. So next up we've got the Diodario, 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 auto lock strap. The Diodario auto lock strap. So this thing retails for $16.99. I think we take our guitar here. Stick the strap on, pull it. The button itself is too thick. That's a problem going into it blind. For kicks, let's try it on this SG. Stick the strap around the button. Now that actually is like a perfect fit. That's, I mean, seems like it's working pretty good. You know, just seeing if this will break and ruin my guitar. Do I want to try this on something more substantial weight wise? Maybe. We've got the button, put this over it quite a bit looser in there, as you can see. I don't have as much faith in it as I did on the fatter strap button that was on the SG there, but the SG is, you know, a six pound guitar. This is the old style. 11 pounds or something. Next up is the Dunlop strap locks. These retail for $19.99, so $3 more than the strap that we just used. There's a lot of pieces in here. We're gonna figure this out together. Maybe if I read the instructions. Have it done by a luthier or guitar repair technician. I am neither of those, but I do feel comfortable. Oh no! Snap the retainer clip on to this. A few issues I see already are that it's always a real estate issue. Is there is no, eh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, there we go, that feels. Okay, so that's the first part. That's not too bad. I need to change out that strap button. So I already see some problems here. So this, this is the new one that they gave me. Easily a much bigger thread diameter. So it's kind of a semi-permanent solution, but for the sake of science, I'm doing this. I'm going to stick this through here, and then I'm gonna stick it on here. I remember growing up, they always said to use pilot holes so that you wouldn't split the wood. We're not gonna adhere to that today. Okay. So I have forced this new strap button into the Jet guitar. It's kind of bulky. Press the button, stick it in, it locks. Okay. I mean, yeah, it, it no doubt works. I mean, it's, it's locked in there. Twofold problems. If you have more than one guitar, you're gonna need a whole lot of just this piece. And hopefully they sell it by itself so you could put it on several guitars. The second thing is that you have to make the hole in this guitar in particular bigger. Not every guitar uses the same standardized sort of sizes, so it might have to happen on a Les Paul or a Stratocaster or a Gretsch or who knows. I'm not a fan of that. What is nice though is that you could still use this button with a normal strap if you did not have that 
button click in as well, and that's that's kind of nice. So next up, something very similar is the uh, Schaller S locks. Comes in a, a very nice presentation there. Same sort of situation. You have these two pieces which will attach to your strap. One piece threaded strap button which will go into your guitar. Now what I used to like about Schaller button and the uh, screw itself were two pieces. In a lot of cases you could use the original threaded screw that came with your guitar with a hollowed out button and that way you wouldn't have to worry about re-threading your guitar. And that's actually when I stopped using these. I was tired of forcing the threads in. I take this which will require a hex wrench. So the Schaller S-Locks, 25 bucks, 26 bucks. I think they look better than the Dunlop strap locks, which were a little bit bulkier and hung out quite a bit farther. This is a little more sleek. You'll find these on some manufacturer's guitars, actually. There's a Slash Edition Les Pauls. I think they all have these included, as well as the Canadian guitar maker, uh, Godan, puts these on all their guitars as well. They don't give you the part that you need for your strap. So you kind of only get half of it. And I have not seen the strap part sold by itself yet. I've seen it only sold as a set. Okay, the installation is super simple for the straps. You just tighten up this big threaded washer thing on it. Insert it over, drop the plunger in. It, it automatically drops into it, it's spring-loaded. And that's it, look at that. If you're into the aesthetics of how things look, this is definitely not a sleek looking thing. However, it does work very well. The reason I stopped using these though is I kept getting these, these little bruises like right here. On a guitar like this, that's not a problem, right? On guitars like an SG or this is a ES-235 where the strap button is on the back side, and I actually haven't taken them off of this guitar yet, this big bulk here, once you're standing up and playing, is literally digging into your chest or your stomach or you know however you sit your guitar and I'm not kidding I would have these this little tiny bruise there it's just always sore there for 15 years sore right there otherwise I think it's a fantastic product 26 bucks it's a little expensive but pretty secure so lastly I've got the locket strap which goes for somewhere between 22 bucks all the way up to they've got $70 all leather options this one was somewhere around 30 bucks it's right in the middle you get two of these functioning chambers that open. And my favorite part about this strap is it is so thin, as you can see, I can use it on an SG without it ripping apart my rib cage. That's my favorite option. In fact, you can actually use this strap lock on the S locks. You can just stick that little thing in there and close it down. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that's all the breakover angles. Not much bite on those. And yet this little strap here, no problem. So there you have it, guys. There's a rundown of a few different options of different sort of strap locks. There was some pros and cons with each one. I think my biggest issue with two of these options is the fact that you might have to drill a bigger hole into your guitar for a predetermined thread size. That I am not a fan of at all, actually. There's other things, too, that are kind of X factors that you don't really know until you get it. In the case of Diodario strap lock, you know, it didn't fit on all of my guitars. Doesn't mean it won't fit on yours. Same with the little plastic lock strap sliders from Dunlop. That didn't work on all my guitars, but it did work on some. So that's why my favorite option is the locket strap. It's worked on every single guitar that I've got here. It is a little bit on the pricier side, averaging around 25 to 40 bucks, depending on what option you go with, but um, it works and it's interchangeable. You can use it on one guitar and then move over to your bass or move over to an acoustic guitar. It works on the SGs with the strap button on the back side. All right, guys, thanks for checking it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Click all the good buttons, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Now the hole is well embiggened, and this is not going to go back in there and stay. Oh.